Number 10. Encounters with the Mapping Wari One of the most interesting accounts of a strange discovery made within the dense Amazon jungle is that of modern-day encounters with a large ground sloth. Though many locals refer to the creature as the Map Inquiry, an ancient Brazilian monster of native folklore and legends. It's described as having the skin of a reptile, one large eye, a second mouth on its stomach, long claws, and backward feet. Many modern-day sightings, however, have instead described the creature as a massive sloth-like creature that moves slowly, has long arms capable of tearing apart trees, a sloped back, and can stand up to seven feet tall while being covered from head to toe in thick and borderline impenetrable matted fur. Interestingly enough, what many people are not aware of is the fact that when Charles Darwin first visited areas throughout South America, he came across the bones of a now-extinct megafauna known as the giant ground sloth. A large cousin of the modern-day sloths throughout South America, estimated to have stood at the size of a bear. When he first discovered the bones, Darwin remarked at how young they looked, believing the bones to have been freshly made by an animal that had just recently died. Further studies would confirm that the giant ground sloth would be around as recently as 10,000 years ago before the Great Ice Age had formed and could have survived for a short period after. This has left many believing that perhaps the modern-day accounts of the mapping Gwari are merely encounters with surviving members of the giant ground sloth believed to be extinct. Number 9. The Street of Black Rock If the supernatural theory of ley lines is to be believed, this means that there are thousands of locations all around the Earth that work as focused points of unexplainable energy that the ancients were aware of and built unexplainable shrines to manipulate and use these energies to their benefit. This means that, in the modern day, there might be some points still active that cause a number of strange and unexplainable phenomena, and the Street of Black Rock might very well be one of these locations. All around the world, Theorists have claimed that they have found proof of such focused points of energy and point to strange ancient constructions such as Stonehenge and the Great Pyramids of Giza. But others believe that perhaps in Thessaloniki, there exists a working doorway to another dimension known as Black Rock Street. The Street of Mavris Petras, located in the area of Annapoli, contains a small narrow alley that many claim has been the source of a number of supernatural occurrences and disappearances. The urban legend stipulates that at random times of the year, the narrow alley will turn into a supernatural doorway into a mysterious world that you may never be able to return from. Though this legend is new, that hasn't prevented a number of enthusiasts from trying to better understand what could really be happening here and trying to find the gateway themselves. Number 8. The Superhuman Sherpas of Nepal Located around the Himalayan mountains, the Sherpas are a tribe of people that originated from the native Nepalis and developed special adaptations for their living conditions on the tallest and coldest mountains in the world. The Sherpas are regarded by even the most experienced mountain climbers as the elite experts in the world of hiking and mountain climbing. And due to this, they are often hired as guides or climbing supporters for mountaineering expeditions in the Himalayan region. Interestingly enough, the Sherpas have developed unique advantages in the world of mountain climbing and high-altitude conditions. Not only do their ancient traditions allow them to learn advanced climbing techniques early on, but the Sherpas have special genetic adaptations to living at high altitudes that include richer oxygen levels in their blood and the ability to produce nitric oxide at double the normal rates of the average individual. Additionally, given their long durations of exposure to blistering weather and extremely cold conditions, the Sherpas have developed special brown fats that have a higher ability to generate natural heat in the body and prevent the cold from doing any lasting damaging effects to their body and to even prevent shivering in otherwise intolerable conditions. This has led many natives of Nepal to believe that the Sherpas possess superhuman traits in the world of mountain climbing that separate them from the average person, leading to their natural ability to survive in conditions no normal man ever could. Number 7. The Kong Amato. Seeing as modern-day pterodactyl sightings of the Kong Amato all throughout Africa, as well as reported strange encounters with the creature, have left many believing with overwhelming certainty in the possibility of the creature's existence well into the modern day. The name Kong Amato actually roughly translates to the breaker of boats, as many natives claim to have been attacked by these flying creatures when they ventured too close to nearby rivers and deeper waters. Some claims range from its wingspan being 4 feet to 100 feet wide, 
and natives have described the creature to be of perfect description to that of the pterodactyl of ancient times despite lacking the education of dinosaurs and their appearance. Although many of the sightings of these creatures are limited to the Congo, there are several reported cases that stretch as far as Papua New Guinea and all across Africa. Additionally, when European travelers were visiting these regions in the hopes of colonization or trade, they wrote extensively about encountering winged creatures, which often attacked their crew and carried away any fresh corpses on their travels. Given the wide expanse of the jungles of the Congo being widely unexplored, as well as housing a large number of different bird species as well as larger flying species. It could very well be the case that the Kongamato is a direct descendant of a surviving species of pterodactyl and could have survived in the rich, fertile areas of the Congo. Number 6. The Bat Squatch Shortly after the eruption of Mount St. Helens, a team of researchers surveyed the area to better understand the explosive devastation caused by the eruption. Researchers found that more than 550 million tons of ash and debris had been ejected from the mountainside, leading to massive gaping slopes and areas of complete removal from the force of the powerful explosion. Interestingly enough, in the following years thereafter, many began to report seeing a large demonic flying creature in the region. The locals would call this creature the Bat Squatch, and it was described as standing more than 9 feet tall. One of its alleged powers was being able to shut off car engines. Additionally, descriptions of the creature detail that it had bat-like leathery wings and its feet were more bird-like in design. If that didn't add enough confusion as to the potential species of the creature, its face was described as being wolf-like. Not only that, but it also had a wingspan of 50 feet in length. Those sightings of the creature can be traced as far back as the year following the Mount St. Helens eruption. Over the past few years, this creature has been witnessed on numerous occasions. The reports follow a similar theme, witnesses spotting a large creature flying through the air and possessing large bat-like wings. As you can imagine, trying to figure out what this creature is has been tough. Skeptics suggest that what people are actually seeing is a misidentified creature. But as many have pointed out, there's no animal in the natural world that looks like the bat squash. Others have suggested that what people were seeing was the elusive Mothman. To this day, though, the Bat Squatch remains a mystery. Number 5. A discovered 1,800,000,000-year-old nuclear reactor Back in 1972, when a large amount of uranium ore was mined from the Oklo mine located in the country of Gabon, a small nation in Central Africa, scientists began to test the uranium deposits to catalog the amount of recovered uranium, 235 that was gathered from the site and could be used for ongoing efforts of nuclear fission and nuclear reactors. Unfortunately, they quickly realized that a substantial amount of uranium-235 was missing from the ore deposits, as uranium-235 forms a solid concentration of 0.72%. But a significant amount was lacking from the mined minerals. As they investigated the situation, believing that perhaps more than 200 kilograms had been stolen, they quickly realized that located near the mine location was the perfect conditions to form what is believed to be a naturally forming nuclear reactor that is dated to be roughly 1,800,000,000 years old. Scientists claim that the uranium ore was used when a naturally formed cavern using groundwater to help stabilize the nuclear reaction was discovered underground. Conspiracy theorists, however, have an alternative explanation. Given the fact that the specifications required to form a naturally made nuclear reactor require specific storage of the uranium-235, the continued influx of water, and a number of steps to prevent the compounds from becoming superheated, it is believed that the location is not naturally formed and rather the use of a primitive nuclear reactor by time-traveling humans needed to create a substantial amount of energy. Today, the claim is widely debated as one of the key pieces of evidence of time-traveling humans and their influence on the past. Number 4. The Dorchester Pot, a mysterious out-of-place artifact. Back in June 1851, a report in Scientific American appeared in the Boston Transcript about a metallic vase previously discovered by miners. Originally, the vase was found in two parts among the rubble that was dynamited out of solid sedimentary rock located in Dorchester. What makes this discovery particularly strange is that the vase was found about 4.5 meters below the surface and was embedded deep inside the rock. This indicates that it was likely there for an extremely long time. 
The bell-shaped vase consists of a silver and zinc alloy, and the sides are filled with flower and bouquet arrangements. Over the last 30 years, the vase has been examined by many experts, including the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston, which operates a state-of-the-art analysis laboratory built together with MIT. The vase was run through various tests over two years, and no one was able to confirm its origin. Surprisingly, geologists managed to date the rock, and it's believed to be at least one million years old. Acid testing done on the vase confirmed these credible time parameters. So, some of the questions that were asked are, how did this vase stay so well-preserved after all these years? How did it get deep in the sedimentary rock, and why was it there in the first place? As of today, these questions cannot be answered, and over the years, many theories have been put forward by researchers. However, most of these can't be proven. Number 3. The Oldest Galaxy Cluster, 13 Billion Years Old After thorough research and decades of scientific evidence, physicists have come to the conclusion that our universe is about 13,800,000,000 years old, and it's still expanding. In this unimaginably vast universe, the largest structures that we have discovered are the galaxy clusters. Each galaxy cluster is made up of thousands of galaxies, and these galaxy clusters are connected to each other, forming most of the universe that we have observed. Recently, in September 2019, researchers working at the Imperial College of London and the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan made a groundbreaking discovery. They found the oldest known galaxy cluster in the universe, located 13 billion light years away from us, making it 13 billion years old. Yuchi Hari Kane, who is leading this research, has said that this galaxy cluster is located far away from the other galaxy clusters, and this in itself is quite remarkable. Scientists have also found that the size of the stars in the newly discovered galaxy cluster is about five times bigger than the largest stars found in other galaxy clusters. This is astounding, especially when considering that our Sun, which is a star, is about one million times bigger than Earth. The largest stars in our galaxy are thousands of times bigger than our Sun. Just imagine the secrets that this newly discovered cluster of galaxies holds, with stars bigger than anything we have ever seen. Number 2. The Disappearance of Bamage Island One of the most popular urban legends arising from Mexico is that of the disappearance of a nearby island, which many blame on the United States government. Made popular by the BBC's World Service documentary Mexico's Missing Island, but Maisha Island is a phantom islet that, according to maps as recent as the middle of the 19th century, should currently be lying off the north coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. However, a survey done in 1997 was unable to locate the island and seemingly found that it had vanished from existence. Conspiracy theorists would later be the ones to find definitive proof of the existence of the island that spanned reference cartographer maps among 400 years of documents, despite many officials denying the existence of the island and blaming erroneous reports. Today, locals believe that the United States government purposefully destroyed the island using nuclear technologies, similar to those seen at Bikini Atoll to not only reduce the land claim of Mexican territories, but also allow international passage for their naval ships and submarines without breaking the treaties outlined in the United Nations Charter of the Sea. On March 20, 2009, the National Autonomous University of Mexico, instructed by the Mexican government, conducted investigations throughout the region where the island was said to rest, in an attempt to naturally explain the island's disappearance. The team used an oceanographic vessel known as Just Dosiera, which was equipped with state-of-the-art devices to help uncover any low-lying lands or completely demolished areas. Though it was originally believed that the United States had used nuclear weapons to destroy the island, at the end of June of that year, the investigation was ended with overwhelming evidence that not only was there no evidence of such a conspiracy, but there had been no vestiges of an island ever having existed in the area, sunken or otherwise. Today, there appears to be no real answer as to the cause of the disappearance of this island, and locals still regard it as one of the most popular Mexican mysteries in urban legends. Number 1. Why are whale calls getting deeper? Some of the most incredible animals in our oceans are the whales, which can grow up to 30 meters in length. The blue whale is the largest animal to have lived on our planet. When it comes to their diet, blue whales are known to primarily consume krill, but these giants will also consume other small crustaceans. In order to maintain their diet in bulk, 
These whales are mostly found in areas rich with high concentrations of krill. One such place is the Arctic Ocean. Researchers have noted a change in the calls of whales over several decades. The audio recordings indicate that the whale calls have been getting deeper. This phenomenon has been observed in different species of whales. Some have suggested that this change is due to maturation and age, with the cries of the whale developing as they do. However, this theory was dismissed when inconsistencies were discovered. Researchers began investigating the environmental factors that might be contributing to the change in whale calls. Some argued that the whales were adapting to the noise pollution in their surroundings. With increased marine traffic in the oceans, it is believed that the whales may be changing their vocalizations to be heard more clearly. Increased noise pollution could be disrupting the whales, leading to changes in their vocalizations. Whale beaching has also increased in recent years, and some link it to these disruptions. As of now, scientists are still working to identify the precise reasons behind the deeper whale calls and the potential impact of environmental changes, such as increased noise pollution. These ongoing studies are critical for understanding how human activities affect marine life and the communication patterns of these magnificent creatures. The mysteries of the deep continue to unfold, and the fascinating world of whales remains an area of scientific inquiry and conservation efforts. The Lady in the White Ghost Described by locals as the most popular and frequently cited ghost from across the country is that of the Lady in White. According to the legend surrounding the Lady in White, she appears as a female ghost dressed completely in a white robe with long black hair that travels down the length of her back. Though there have been a number of sightings of the Lady in White ghost across the Philippines, there is one that stands out as the most commonly told story surrounding the legend of the ghost and its behaviors. According to the urban legend, the spirit of the lady in white belonged to a long-haired woman who was wearing a white dress on her way to a wedding. Suddenly, as she was driving along Belette Drive, her car began shaking, and she crashed at a high speed, causing her to perish instantly. This has caused her spirit to be trapped in this area in a perpetual state of attempting to get to her wedding in time. This has left many taxi drivers scared as it has been told among the drivers not to pick up anyone alongside Belette Drive at night, as it is usually the lady in white who will enter the back seat of the taxi and take on a more disgusting form. A form that has left many taxi drivers running from the car and abandoning their taxis. Though this is only one instance and tale of the elusive lady in white, the truth surrounding the legend appears to be all the more frightening. It appears that not only are there several cases of these strange sightings all across the country with many different origin stories of women with tragic tales, but that many different spirits of the same form appear all across the world in many different countries completely isolated from the myth all across time. This has led many to believe that a lady in white ghost can appear from almost anyone and will usually only take form when a woman undergoes a tragic event while remaining pure of heart unidentified flying objects and orbs. Outside of the numerous claims of skinwalkers throughout the region of Skinwalker Ranch, there appears to be a number of incredible sightings of unidentified flying objects and bright floating orbs that have left many to refer to the ranch as the strangest place on Earth. The first ever reported sighting of an unidentified flying object was reported by the family that lived on the ranch who had originally believed the craft to be some form of top-secret military project of immense size. According to the family, the unidentified flying object that they observed was regarded as being as large as several football fields in size and was covered in a number of strange blinking lights. The morning after the sighting, the entire ground of the ranch where the unidentified flying object was claimed to have rested was left with a massive depression in the area that gave a perfect imprint of the ship on the soil beneath it. Other pieces of evidence surrounding extraterrestrial intervention included hearing voices speaking in a strange language seemingly coming out of thin air, an alien creature standing at more than seven feet tall beside a large floating glowing orb, as well as cows completely disappearing out of thin air and reappearing the next day as a mutilated mess in the field. One of the most frightening claims was that during the night, a strange bouncing ball of light had come to the house and was bouncing around the property. This would lead their three dogs to break free and begin chasing the ball away from the house, only for them to never return again after seemingly vanishing from thin air along with the bouncing ball of light. 
Unfortunately for the owners, their reports would go largely ignored by respectable researchers, leaving their property becoming a hotspot sighting area for UFO enthusiasts to journey onto the ranch at all hours of the day and harass the owners by invading their personal space and setting up camping equipment in the hopes of coming across extraterrestrial contact. The Man-Sized Spider The Japify, more commonly known as the Congolese Giant Spider, is that of a large undiscovered species of spider that is reportedly the size of a man and has survived from larger arachnid species found in ancient prehistoric times well into the modern day. Though large spiders have been reported all across the continent of Africa, it appears that within the Congo, there are native tribes known as the Bakar that refer to the spider as the Jabba Fofi and have reported that the creatures have a leg span of roughly four feet long. These urban legends were uncovered after a number of African reports began telling of a massive spider infesting different African countries at different times of the year. The reported sightings of such a creature occurred back in the 1890s when a missionary from England ventured into the country of Uganda and discovered a massive web located near Lake Nyasa. He then writes that as they were looking at the web and getting closer to understand what it was, given its massive size, stretching between two larger standing trees, several of his people became trapped as they began to move in the webs, sticking to the strings. They claimed spiders with legs longer than four feet began to come out and bite into the trapped men, causing the others to run and leave them in fear. Later expeditions in 1938 would lead researchers to consult with local and native tribes in the Congo that told of the Jabber Fofo spider, which was believed to have a matching leg span of four feet in length and had thousands of eggs described as being the size of peanuts. The spider would nest nearby tribal villages in efforts to trap birds, large animals, and even humans. The ostrich, which is closely related to the velociraptors, exhibits similar physical structures and group-like intelligences. This could very well be supporting evidence of a yet-to-be-uncovered descendant of the raptor living in the wooded areas of the state of Georgia. Scientists have said that we currently know more about what's going on on the surface of the moon than what is happening within our very own oceans. These underwater worlds are mostly unexplored, and many of them are hiding mysteries that are waiting to be discovered. Over the years, there has been talk of giant sea creatures that could be living in the depths. One of these has become known as the USS Stein Sea Monster. This large ship was named after Tony Stein. No one knows where the event took place, but it's said that it happened somewhere in deep water. The crew started to notice that suddenly the ship started to experience technical problems, which ultimately led to the failure of its sonar. When the ship arrived home, it was dry docked and immediately examined. It was said that whatever had caused the damage was very big, perhaps even an unknown giant squid species. The creature had managed to damage the rubber coating of the sonar dome. Engineers had later discovered that over 10% of the surface coating was damaged, and most of the cuts were very similar to those found on the suction cups of squids. However, the engineers said that this wasn't a normal-sized creature, saying that the cuts were much larger than any known squid species. This has fueled speculation that the creature in question was over 100 feet in length. Although this sounds impossible, we have discovered giant squids that were over 40 feet in length, and some think that larger specimens could also be lurking in the depths. The Hitchhiker on the Curve A common urban legend told by those warning tourists from picking up hitchhikers is that of the girl on the curve. According to the legend, some men claimed that when driving out in the countryside, they had encountered a beautiful woman standing at the side of the road, waving for the driver to stop. When the driver stops, the woman begins to ask them for a ride, a request that most men willingly fulfill. After a short while of driving, the woman will then begin to speak aloud and say, watch out ahead. There's a dangerous bend in the road. After passing the bend, the woman will then say, I'm glad we made it this time. That was where I died. After hearing these words, when the man turns to face the woman, he will see that her body is changed into that of a mangled mess, completely covered in blood and mud in the back seat of the car. Shortly after, the body will blink out of existence, leaving the driver terrified and traumatized. New York 1898 Mysterious Lights Back in 1898, before the invention of heavier-than-air styled aircraft, the only aircraft around the world known at the time was that of lighter-than-air-style aircraft, such as hot air balloons and the invention of Zeppelin-style craft. Despite this technological limit, 
It appears that over the town of Babylon located in the state of New York, there appeared to be a rather impossible to explain mystery light. This light was observed moving at speeds far greater than that of any current aircraft during the time. Witness accounts claim that the light was first spotted at roughly 8.45 p.m., located far east of the town of Babylon. As additional witness reports poured in, many claim that after a period of time, the light began to move south and stayed at the same altitude as it passed overhead on a direct path. Along its path, Reports detailed that the light would fade out of existence only for it to fade back and further along its path, as if it were jumping between distances within the blink of an eye. After a short period, the light faded and completely vanished from sight. Shortly after, as people gathered together to talk about the sighting, a mass panic began to erupt as many believed that the sighting was evidence of a war soon to begin, as during this time, the world was on the brink of war. Officials soon came in and claimed that the sighting was nothing more than a natural phenomenon and that it was nothing to be alarmed over. Though many accepted this half-hearted explanation, others claimed that the light was not like that of any natural phenomenon they had ever seen and claimed it to have been some sort of experimental aircraft impossible to explain. Antarctic Humanoid Creatures Antarctica has always been at the center of a wide number of different mysteries, and it appears that Japan is no stranger to these theories and has been at the center of rumors surrounding the icy continent. It appears that over the past few years, stories of strange humanoid creatures living in Antarctica have slowly been circulating all around Japan. According to the Japanese whaling industry, many crew members aboard so-called whale research ships have reported seeing strange humanoid creatures on the continent. Reports detail that when approaching near the continent of Antarctica, Japanese crew members will report seeing what appears to be large giants laying out in the ocean. They appear to be humanoid in shape. These creatures are described as being 20 to 30 meters in length and completely white in skin tone. Others have often reported that the creature was originally mistaken as being a larger submarine in the distance before getting closer and seeing hands, fingers, eyes, and a mouth. This led to the name of the Ninjin by the Japanese crew whereas others simply refer to these creatures as the Antarctic humans. To this day, not a single image of the creature has surfaced, and it continues to be a mystery of the Japanese crews that experiences these occurrences on a nearly daily basis. Number 10. The Seven-Headed Dragon According to accounts of old Italian folklore, there appear to be numerous strange reports that tell of a creature with the ability to live forever, untouched by age, and proving to be a menace to the province of Bogamo. This creature is known only as the Seven-Headed Dragon and seems to bear a startling resemblance to the creature known as the Hydra. Interestingly enough, according to legend, the dragon was known to wander the countryside in search of livestock to devour, completely ravaging towns and draining a well of its entire supply of water during one sitting. This led to a number of farmers and hunters gathering together to fight the beast, only to fail miserably, leading to a number of the population perishing in the fight. Due to this immediate danger, a collection of small states of Italy, fearing that the creature might eventually find its way to their own provinces, gathered together a small army composed of the reported best soldiers in all of Italy. These soldiers tracked down and hunted the creature, battling it for days. Eventually, they pushed the monster back into a nearby wellspring. Upon entering the water, the creature thrashed and fought, unable to take any damage of any kind, leading to the creature accidentally burying itself underneath the mud of the wellspring as its movements caused it to slowly sink in. Tales of this story are still told in the modern day and have led to a number of Italians believing that the muddy water in the area in which the dragon was trapped is that of the Font Drago, the name of a wellspring that translates to the wellspring of the dragon. A particularly muddy wellspring that has caused many to sink in and drown in a form of muddy quicksand. To this day, many believe that this immortal dragon rests underneath these waters, waiting for the day of its return, as its own immortality allows it to endure its entrapment for endless millennia. Number 9. The Mini Road On the 2nd of September in 1968, a group of friends was diving 18 feet underwater off the northwest coast of North Bimini Island. Amateur divers discovered an incredible underwater megalith structure. It had rounded stones of varying size and thickness, which are believed to be evidence of a wall or pavement. 
Further examination of the area found that the stones formed a nearly perfect linear formation, proving its artificial nature and strange discovery. In 1978, a radiocarbon laboratory at the University of Miami dated samples retrieved from a Bimini Road core and believed the area to be somewhere around 2,700 to 3,500 years old. Number 8. Transient Lunar Phenomena Throughout human history, many have claimed not only to have observed the surface of the moon changing or undergoing what seems to be massive earthquakes and tectonic activity, but also to have seen bright lights and colors moving around the lunar surface or growing in size. These are not just claims made by amateur astronomers. In fact, the majority of transient lunar phenomena come from reports made by multiple witnesses and reputable scientists. The reports detail strange occurrences on the surface of the moon, including the sudden appearance of foggy patches, permanent changes to the lunar landscape, the release of gases causing mists and obscurations, reddish colorations, green, blue, or violet colorations, areas of the moon becoming brighter than normal, and areas of the moon becoming much darker than normal. These strange lunar phenomena led to a full survey and report created by Barbara Middlehist, Patrick Moore, and Winifred S. Cameron. They discovered that these reports went as far back as the 10th century, being detailed in accurate descriptions by monks and researchers from cultures around the world. Though NASA has admitted via recent discoveries made on the moon that gaseous excretions and asteroid impacts can occur and cause changes to the lunar surface, transient lunar phenomena are still widely regarded as controversial. Many astronomers and scientists refrain from reporting any sightings they make fearing chastisement and ridicule from the scientific community. Number 7. The Purpose of the Pyramid For the Aztec civilization, archaeologists have found that at the center of every major city and establishment by the ancient culture, there stood a large pyramid to act as a sort of heart of the city's design. This has led many researchers to believe that the pyramids held major religious and spiritual significance, and the city was built around them rather than the pyramid being built into an already pre-existing city. Additionally, given the significant importance that the ancient Aztec civilization placed on sacrificial rituals to their gods of war and the sun, many researchers believe that the temple could have been used as a place for these rituals to be performed. The Pyramid of the Sun is believed to be the site of a number of these rituals that were conducted by the Aztecs. This was to ensure the safety of humanity, as they believed that if the ritual was not completed, their gods of war and the sun would immediately seek out a bloodthirsty solution and block out the sun from the sky, casting the world into darkness and preventing life from continuing. To combat this, the Aztecs were believed to have performed rituals at this massive pyramid to appease their gods and guarantee a new year. Additionally, in ancient Aztec mythologies, it's believed and claimed that the pyramids acted as a sort of connection to their ancient gods. The Aztecs wrote many different accounts in their mythologies of their gods descending from the sky and landing on the pyramids. It is said they did this to engage in conversation with the ancient Aztec people and provide gifts. This has led many ancient civilization theorists to believe that the pyramids were ancient landing sites, given that the Aztec mythologies talk about giving gifts to their gods. However, there is still no true consensus as to the role of the pyramids and why they were usually constructed as the centerpiece of cities and construction. Though there is believed to be a connection with the structure and that of the ancient gods worshipped by the Aztec civilization, the pyramids in the region, the pyramids of the sun and moon, along with a smaller pyramid structure nearby, mark the exact coordinates of the three stars that make up Orion's belt on the Orion constellation. This helps demonstrate their connection with the celestial bodies in the sky, the stars, and their religious significance. Number 6. The Bear Lake Monster Located on the border of the states of Utah and Idaho in the United States, there appear to be strange sightings of an underwater creature referred to by locals as the Bear Lake Monster. According to witness reports, this creature is described as a large serpent with legs more than 18 inches long that quickly runs across the shoreline. It would later surface that back in 1868, many locals in the region were interested in these strange sightings and conducted a full investigation led by church leaders in the area and other reputable sources of information. These investigators uncovered many accounts from people living on or near the lake regarding the existence of the creature. They also questioned some Native American populations in the region, 
who told of ancient stories and myths about the lake being inhabited by a serpent-like water devil. Other church leaders then took interest in the creature and became obsessed with attempting to capture the strange serpent in an effort to parade it around as a real-life demon or devil that could be used to show the power of God. A resident near the lake even proposed building a large baited hook attached to a rope more than three feet long at the end of a large buoy that could be used to help capture the creature. This rope could then be tied to a tree on the shore as a passive fishing hook, which would lead to the capture of this monster. Even today, sightings of the Bear Lake monster continue, with some even reporting that a large underwater bear mouth had emerged from the water and destroyed their camp while taking one of their horses underwater for a snack. Number 5. Ghost Sightings Ever since the owners of the Skinwalk Carriage saw property to a team of researchers who dedicate their time to the study of the ranch and its paranormal and supernatural occurrences, there have been numerous reports of hearing disembodied voices, seeing strange orbs of light floating across the property, and witnessing milky apparitions of spirits coming and going from the areas of the ranch. These reports have led researchers to believe that perhaps the ranch is in the middle of some strange paranormal gateway or opening that allows such impossible to explain events to occur naturally. Growing reports from the researchers detailing such paranormal occurrences have also helped feed into the strange theory that perhaps something far more sinister is occurring in the area. Though the ghostly sightings are few and far between, with many claiming that perhaps they're more closely related to that of the extraterrestrial phenomena experienced in the area, they still continue to be an area of study for the researchers at Skinwalker Ranch. Number 4. The Lizard Man of Scape Swamp Back in 1988, a 17-year-old local resident known as Christopher Davis claimed to have encountered something otherworldly near Scape Swamp. He described it as a creature that was green, completely wet, seven feet tall, had lizard-like skin, possessed three fingers on both hands, had wide, glowing red eyes, and was covered from head to toe in snake-like scales. This creature would later be referred to by locals as the Lizard Man of Scape Swamp, and further sightings of the creature would continue for years to come. Over the years, many people claimed to have spotted the creature and even occasionally had direct encounters with it. Some have seen this creature on the roads located nearby Scape Swamp, while others claim they had encountered the lizard man miles away from the swamp. This led to numerous sightings of the creature, with a local radio station even offering a $1 million reward to anyone who could capture the creature alive and bring it to the station. Though many believed it to be a publicity stunt, the seriousness of the creature's existence would later become the focus of the nearby military base. An airman known as Kenneth Orr, who worked at the nearby Shaw Air Force Base, filed a police report claiming that he had encountered the Lizard Man off of Highway 15. He believed he had wounded the creature but couldn't locate its body despite the police report and the discovery of scales and blood at the location. Kenneth Orr was arrested for attempting to file a false police report, leading many to believe that the military may be actively looking for this creature while also working to cover up its existence to prevent mass panic. Number 3. The Legend of the Cat Iron Fortress There is an old legend that tells of an ancient race of giants who once inhabited the city of Cat Iron many eons ago before humans began to inhabit the region. They were rumored to have been ageless, able to live as long as they wished, but they could actively be killed by means of attack or tragedy. Their leader was an old giant who was around 1,000 years of age. In order to protect his kingdom, he ordered his giant kind to line up in a single file, extending from the number of mountains all the way to what is now known as the Hisar Hill. As they lined up, he would grab massive boulders from the mountain and pass them down the line, allowing the boulders to travel a great distance and end up at the hill to be used for the construction of massive stone walls placed together without mortar of any kind. Shortly after this project began, however, his young 300-year-old son became injured by a falling boulder. Number 2. The Tricks of the Imp in the Mirror Today, there are tales of a tiny imp that plays illusionary tricks for the sole purpose of driving people to insanity within the Italian countryside. The majority of these illusionary tricks play on images of vanity, making people appear to be ugly and misshapen when glancing into mirrors and staring at themselves. It is believed that the urban legend involving the imp comes from an older Italian cocktail published back in the early 1900s that tells of the imp listening in on conversations of people describing their own fears and struggles. 
The imp then uses this information to manifest images of monsters and internal issues that affect the self-esteem of the person they're targeting in negative ways. Number 1. Ghost Taxi Rides One of the strangest urban legends from Malaysia tells of stories told by taxi drivers while making their rounds through a number of popular cities in the country during the times of 11 p.m. and 12 a.m. According to witness accounts, many taxi drivers have claimed that they will no longer run taxis after 11.30 p.m. due to supernatural encounters. At roughly 12 a.m., taxi drivers have begun to see a strange manifestation of a woman at the side of the road with long black hair and white clothes. If they pull over to pick up the woman, she will point them down a series of streets and roads until they arrive at a cemetery and will pay the driver with Chinese currency used as offerings for the deceased. If a taxi driver refuses to pick up the woman, however, she will continue to manifest at the side of the road regardless of how far or how fast the drivers drive. If they continue to ignore her presence, it is told that a dangerous accident will befall the driver and lead to their untimely demise. Number 10. For 1,500-year-old Egyptian ramp system. One of the greatest mysteries of archaeology has been that of the Great Pyramids of Giza and exactly how the ancient Egyptians created the megastructures during their reign. It appears that during a recent archaeological survey of the sites taken back in 2018, researchers have found an ancient ram system at the ancient quarry site of Haknub located in the East Desert of Egypt. Tests and theories have shown that the contraption could have been used by the ancient Egyptians to transport massive alabaster stone up a steep ramp that would have allowed them to move stones the size used at the periods of geyser for construction. Though nothing has been definitively proved relative to its use for construction, it does lead to a tremendous understanding of the efficiency of the ancient Egyptians and how they could have potentially moved the stones to construct the pyramids if necessary. Number 9. Sightings of the Thunderbird Although the name might not indicate a single species, the Thunderbird is the appearance of a large single bird seen flying overhead in different parts of the world. These sightings of birds were given the name Thunderbird as they seem to share a lot of characteristics more noticeably their size to that of the ancient Native American traditions and mythologies surrounding a large flying creature referred to as the Thunderbird. This has left many people wondering, however, if the creature is a modern-day sighting of a pterosaur, as similarly discussed previously, or that it is a single species of the Thunderbird as seen and recorded in ancient Native American legends. Additionally, the Thunderbird is described as being the size of a man when standing upright with a wingspan over 16 feet in length. This has left many cryptozoologists working around the clock to calculate its possible flight patterns and capability of sustained flight given its size. It is due to this that it has been posited by cryptozoologists that the Thunderbird originally was referred to this by native traditions because the creature would follow the upwind drafts created during a large thunderstorm to sustain their weight, size, and movement. Very similar to the way modern-day eagles ride up the side of mountain currents to gain height with little work acquired on their part. A normal-sized bird would be torn up to unsustainable heights during a thunderstorm and might even find themselves in unsustainable flight positions causing men to be thrown to and fro. However, a bird the size of Thunderbird would be able to stabilize its flight due to its weight and size, even when affected by such forces. Oddly enough, the area of the Bridgewater Triangle which encompasses roughly 200 square miles in the majority of southeast Massachusetts, located in the United States, had the majority of sightings surrounding the creature known as the Thunderbird. The same area that many Native American tribes have reported encountering the creature during their time. This has left many wondering if the Thunderbird is a native undiscovered species of bird that is less supernatural in nature and is merely endangered in their population. Number 8. The Continent of Antarctica As many within the conspiracy theory fringe groups are well aware of, the continent of Antarctica is often at the center of a number of strange claims and supernatural occurrences. Such claims range from that of the continent being a massive ice wall for flat earth theorists being an area that houses both illegal military bases as outlined in the leaked United States military projects known as Project Iceworm, as well as potentially being an area in which secret alien bases have been established. Though no one is exactly sure why such claims surrounding the continent exist, 
Many theorize that it could be due to the fact that the icy continent has proven to be harder to visit in the coming days due to a number of strange claims from governments around the world. In fact, the most common method to visit the area requires expensive cruise tickets just to get to nearby shores that will leave after a short period of time. Even researchers have found that journeying anywhere across the continent proves to be a life-threatening and nearly impossible journey to land as the blowing winds, dry air, large deserts, and constant ice quakes make any form of safe passage an impossibility. Research bases constructed across the icy continent must also be able to stay mobile as the buildup of ice would swallow buildings that are not capable of moving a few feet every few days. Despite many of the outlandish claims surrounding the continent, even qualified research scientists themselves are unable to conduct reliable research as they wish due to these conditions. The efforts of uncovering fossils, understanding the geology of the structure, blasting, and ice drilling have only become more problematic as rising issues of global warming have made areas more and more unstable. Number 7. Viking Sunstone Compass It is no secret that the Scandinavians were seen as the greatest seafarers of their time. Responsible for some of the most incredible navigation breakthroughs and land discoveries that many other nations refused to even attempt at the height of their power. The cause for their seafaring skills has often been a mystery, but several researchers now believe that with the use of crystals the ancient Viking people were capable of navigating the ocean in snow-filled overcast days, even when the sun and sky were not visible to be used for navigation. Referred to as sunstones, the Vikings described using a number of small crystals to assist with navigation even when the sun was not visible in the sky. The way this was accomplished was by holding the crystal up to the sky and moving the crystal around until it would show the position of the sun. Historians had first believed that the stories explaining the use of the sunstone as navigation were merely allegorical and had no real bearing in navigation of any kind, as no surviving instances of these sunstones are around today. Interestingly enough, however, researchers have begun to realize that by using polarizing crystals, it is possible to find the location of the sun even when the sky is overcast and even when the sun is behind the horizon. This has led researchers to believe that perhaps the sunstones were these special crystalline structures, but that any evidence of how they would work is still being researched and understood in the modern day. Number 6. Jimmy Carter's Strange UFO Encounter Similar to Ronald Reagan before Jimmy Carter even began his work in politics, it appears that he was visited by a strange extraterrestrial entity with several other individuals around to confirm the story. As the president had arrived one evening to give a speech at Alliance's club meeting, he stood outside with other participants in the event before someone shouted to look west. When everyone turned, according to Jimmy Carter himself, there appeared to be a strange object that was visible about 30 degrees above the horizon to the west of where the group was standing. According to the soon-to-be United States Governor of Georgia, the object was described as being bright white and about the same level of brightness as the moon. It supposedly then quickly began to approach the group, but then immediately stopped near a clearing of pine trees some distance away from the witnesses. The object then began to change color from white to blue then to red, and then back to white almost as if an ode to the colors of the American flag. Shortly after, the object began receding away into the distance before it slowly faded from view. Carter states clearly that he did not believe the object had any physical shape of any kind, rather more closely seen as a strange manifestation of light energy and nothing more. Shortly after this event, Jimmy Carter announced his plans to run for governor in Georgia, which would go on to further his political career and eventual plans to become the United States president. Number 5. The Laptop of Ancient Greece One of the most interesting characters across that of ancient Greek culture is that of the written accounts of the influential Oracle of Delphi. The oracle was described as being a high priest position that often carried over to the next priest after the death of the previous oracle and the following selection of the new oracle. This priest was then believed to possess the ability to connect with ancient Greek gods and provide insights and information previously hidden to human beings through this communication established between the oracle and the gods. Additionally, many regarded the position of being able to see the future as that of a cursed one. And so it wasn't long before the priest began to select a woman to fill the position who was cursed to be selected as their highest priestess and often referred to as the Sibyl. In many different accounts, 
The Oracle of Delphi was not only capable of providing information and insight to anyone from the personal problems of a peasant to that of a mighty ruler, but was also able to give predictions of the future that would always come true, and hope to secure the reign of ancient Greece as a lasting culture in history. Interestingly enough, it appears that conspiracy theorists have discovered overwhelming evidence that the Oracle of Delphi was not only selected by the gods for this communication but was in fact given a laptop by future humans to assist with information and influence. Though the claim might sound outlandish, evidence can be found when studying a Greek sculpture made in the depiction of the Oracle of Delphi and the source of the priestess's power. Now located at the J. Paul Giddy Museum located in Malibu, California, is a statue known as the Grave Naskos of an enthroned woman with an attendant that displays the Oracle of Delphi looking into what appears to be a modern-day laptop device. Many skeptics have often argued it to be nothing more than a shadow chest. However, the laptop also appears to have markings on the side that seem consistent with modern-day ports used for peripheral devices, helping to add evidence that a future-seeing influencer of the past was aided by time-traveling humans. Number 4. The Lost Tomb of Anthony and Cleopatra Although this might not fit the motif of a discovered artifact, the lack of discovery surrounding this ancient historical site is more than enough to cast both mystery and uncertainty in the field of Egyptology and archaeology. One of the most sought-after discoveries in the field of archaeology is that of the discovery of the Lost Tomb of Anthony and Cleopatra. According to ancient accounts, after the Roman leader, Augustus, defeated Anthony and Cleopatra back in 30 BCE, he permitted them to be buried together in the city of Alexandria located in Egypt. Despite this report and detailed announcement, the Suetonius and Plutarch records that elaborated that Anthony had been cremated and placed into a large jar. Egyptologists and archaeologists are more than confident that the body of both rulers will be found mummified in a traditional Egyptian manner. Back in 2008 and 2009, popular Egyptologist, Zahi Habas, announced that with the discovery of the Temple of Osiris within the city of Alexandria in Egypt, that he will be able to find the hidden tomb of Cleopatra and Anthony. Unfortunately, despite more than 27 tombs being uncovered and 10 different mummies located in the region, not one of the tombs was indicative of that of the long-lost tomb of Anthony and Cleopatra. Recently, however, there has been evidence of additional sites below when using ground-penetrating radar back in 2011. Still, the tomb eludes researchers to this day that have long since believed that raiders and other private collectors have probably already found and looted the tombs long ago. Number 3. The Saqqara Bird It was very common in the old days of Egypt for children to possess intricately carved wooden toys, not too much different from toys found today. Interestingly enough, the discovery of the Saqqara artifact puts many ideas into question on whether or not the object was a toy or evidence of ancient aircraft during 2000 BCE. In an 1898 excavation at the Paderomit tomb, located in the town of Saqqara, Egypt, a strange bird-shaped artifact made out of sycamore wood and incredibly preserved was discovered. These artifacts depict a bird at the front of its design. However, the rest of the body seems similar in design to a modern-day charter plane rather than a bird. Located atop the bird appears to be one single large wing commonly seen in modern taildrigger planes, whereas the back shows what appears to be a similar design to a rudder that lessens out at the back in a vertical position. Further evidence of the ancient Egyptian gods wielding advanced technologies is the fact that the bird face used for the Saqqara bird is that of a falcon an image commonly used to depict many of the Egyptian gods and their power. Further evidence was established when aerodynamics expert Simon Sanderson tested an exact replica model of the carved bird in a modern wind tunnel. Even without a tailplane rudder or flaps, the model generated four times the glider's own weight and lift, proving indefinitely that even without the use of modern-day equipment, scaled up, the carved image could glide on its own. When Simon Sanderson added a stabilizing tailplane to the carved wooden figure and tested it in a flight simulator, it was able to fly quite well and control with ease that rivals in comparison to many aircraft built today. In his paper, Simon wrote that, modern technology has proved beyond all doubt that it could have flown, end quote. Despite the substantial evidence and research, many experts claim Simon Sanderson is forging results or even go as far as claiming that perhaps the wooden bird is nothing more than an elaborate hoax placed there during its discovery. 
Number 2. The Dragon Aurora Borealis Though this might seem like a fantastical occurrence only meant for that of the myths and legends seen all throughout the ancient Scandinavian lands, reports of a dragon made from the Aurora Borealis surfaced back in early February of this year. It's left many in Iceland to suspect that something supernatural was behind the sighting. Scientists are having a hard time trying to explain why researchers experienced one of the largest Aurora Borealis images in the sky. This incredible sight also took the shape of a fire-breathing dragon that wrapped across the sky. The event was seen over many parts of Iceland, with researchers recording the event to better understand its causes. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration recently posited some data forward that claimed the new, never-before-seen solar activity burst on the sun were responsible for the massive image of the dragon in the sky. The space agency claimed that auroras with distinct shapes and three-dimensional images can form when the sun's magnetic fields begin to twist together and create massive sunspots. These sunspots then create a large amount of charged particles that will then shoot out into deep space in a solar wind. And if such a force happens to hit against the Earth, just right, it can create supermassive aurora borealis as the electromagnetic fields of the Earth battle the energy and radiation of the sun. Interestingly enough, the researchers found that there has been no evidence of these sunspots in the month of February. So, to have caused this tremendous image remains somewhat of a mystery. This meant that scientists all across the world did not seem to have any source of reason as to why the image appeared and the naturally formed aurora borealis was so different from its normal formations. Additionally, researchers who took the photographs claimed that there were many different images rather than just that of the dragon, such as the image of a large phoenix-like bird and the detailed body of the dragon moving through the sky. Many have already theorized that perhaps our ancestors were well aware of these images many years ago, and that the myths of fire-breathing dragons and phoenixes made from nothing but fire originated from these awe-inspiring natural phenomena. The images are incredible to look at, and going back to a time when we didn't understand how they were created, it's easy to see how people would think they were real-life dragons and mythical creatures. Number 1. Ring Circles in the Amazon The discovery of a series of mysterious ring-like ditches in the Brazilian and Bolivian Amazon has puzzled archaeologists and historians. These large rings, some up to 16 feet deep and 16 feet wide, were created by ancient tribes. Some theories suggest they were used for defense, drainage, or religious purposes. However, conspiracy theorists have linked these formations to aliens, claiming that ancient tribes couldn't have dug such large circles without advanced technology. Recent research has shown that these ancient Amazonian tribes were more advanced than previously believed, with sophisticated tools and organized societies. is detailing an unidentified flying object that had reportedly landed in the forest. This event was at the center of numerous unexplainable phenomena throughout the area. These witness reports included sworn affidavits from multiple military officers in high positions, leading to untold chaos in the coming years. At around 3 a.m. on December 26, a security patrol at the Royal Air Base Woodbridge saw what they described as a bright light descending near the Rendlesham Forest. The security patrol described the lights as that of a downed aircraft and quickly rushed to investigate their sighting, following its general direction within the forest. Once they arrived within sight of the aircraft, the group of men noticed that the animals native to that region of the forest appeared to be screeching and going into a panicked frenzy. The men described what they saw as a glowing object with a metallic appearance surrounded by attached and brightly colored lights. One of the members of the security patrol, Sergeant Jim Penniston, later wrote in his memo that the team had encountered a craft of unknown origin, which helped confirm the sighting of an unidentified flying craft. Additional evidence was gathered the next day by a high military official known as Lieutenant Colonel Charles Holt, who found spiked radiation readings at the supposed sites of the landed craft within Rendlesham Forest. They also discovered a triangle of depression that had sunk within the ground as if a large object with a massive pressing force had recently been resting in that region. Lieutenant Colonel Charles Holt would later be punished and reprimanded for creating witness reports, sworn affidavits, and going on record to say that he believed the event to be extraterrestrial in nature and that the incident had been covered up by both the governments of the United Kingdom and the United States. 
Number 9. Ghostly Ships When standing on the shores of beaches from around the world, encounters with strange, paranormal, and supernatural occurrences have left many wondering if darker forces are responsible for the terrible fate of those who have gone missing on the open seas. Some of these encounters include claims of seeing ships in the distance seemingly floating in the sky, an effect known as atmospheric refraction that has led many to not understand the nature of the horizon. Others have reported sightings impossible to explain with natural scientific means, such as encounters seen on the shores of Chesapeake Bay. Though there is a collection of rumors and myths surrounding the area regarding potentially hidden and buried treasure, locals have also claimed that if someone stays there for a prolonged period of time, they will begin to notice a large ghostly image of the port beginning to manifest. This has led many to report spotting ghostly ships out past the harbor, and rumors of getting near the ship have spread further legends of whaling spirits inhabiting them. It does appear, however, that such claims of ghost ships manifesting as large ethereal ships coming close to the shores have arisen in many different areas around the world and are not just described as ships with completely abandoned crews, but rather as large glowing spirits that take on the form of boats and the whaling undead that inhabit them. Other popular cases of abandoned ships washing up on shores include the recovery of the CSS Teaser, which is often regarded as one of the most unexplained and strange Australian mysteries to ever wash up on the beach. With authorities discovering even food and flatware perfectly fine on tables, a fully charged computer still on, and the engine still running. Number 8. The Leather Man from New York during the 19th century, a man wore a head-to-toe leather suit and walked a 365-mile circuit between the Hudson and Connecticut rivers. During these long, arduous walks, he took shelter and slept in caves. He completed the journey in exactly 34 days at a time and kept doing this for many years. No one knows who this man was or what he did. The legend of the leather man became popular over time. All that people knew about this strange man was that he slept in caves, stored food there, and was on a continuous, non-stop walking journey. This man walked through 40 different towns that were on his route. This strange man did not know much English and did not speak much. This man had already become a legend during his lifetime. People started offering him food, and they considered it an honor if the leather man stopped at their home. Thankfully, some people photographed this mysterious man, and today, the photos of the leather man continue to intrigue historians. Some researchers have spent decades trying to solve the mystery of New York's Leather Man. However, not much evidence has been found. One of the most famous photos of the mysterious Leather Man shows him sitting and staring directly at the camera. According to one historian, this legendary man walked more than 100,000 miles in 30 years. Number 7. Ancient Astronauts Carving on Rock Though ancient alien enthusiasts refer to the find as evidence of advanced ancient alien civilizations, many among the time travel fringe groups argue that the same evidence can be used to back up the claim of time traveling humans visiting the ancient past. One such piece is that of the ancient stone figure found in the middle of a number of ancient Mayan ruins in Guatemala. This stone figure features an almost perfect recreation of a modern day astronaut carved in stone. This stone figure has been at the center of many ancient alien debates, claiming that the gods were depicted in such a way due to the fact that they were merely alien creatures visiting from faraway planets and required a complex breathing apparatus to survive in our atmosphere. Time travel enthusiasts argue that it is evidence of future humans having visited the past, given how it resembles the specific designs of modern-day astronaut gear. They also argue that an alien species could very well have different space suit designs, helping to support the idea that the carved stone figure is that of a human being who traveled through the past in modern-day astronaut-like gear. Additionally, many time travel fringe groups argue that for one to travel through time, it must also require the participant to travel through space, as a single day in the future is several million miles away, considering the motion of the Earth, the Sun, and our collective solar system. This means that if a human from the future were to visit humans in the past, they would overwhelmingly require astronaut equipment just to survive the journey. Number 6. The Genetic Disc and Its Mysterious Existence The genetic disc is one of the most mysterious artifacts ever found on our planet. Originally discovered in the territory of Colombia, it weighs about 2 kilograms and is 27 centimeters in diameter. Both sides of the disc are covered in various illustrations of fetal development. 
However, some have argued how an ancient civilization would have known what a fetus looks like while in the womb, as it's hard to believe this knowledge was available 6,000 years ago. Gutierrez's Lager, a Colombian professor, has been gathering unexplained artifacts for a long time. His artifacts mainly consist of stones with illustrations of people, animals, symbols, and inscriptions in a completely unknown language and script. The main exhibit in the professor's collection is the genetic disc made from lidite, a stone mined in Lydia, which has a similar hardness to granite and a layered structure. It's extremely hard to work with this stone, and cutting something from this stone back then should have been impossible. The genetic disc is made from the same mineral, yet it has very detailed drawings all over it. Many believe that the drawings closely resemble a print rather than a carving. The illustrations found on this disc are unusual, showing the entire process of human life, including the moment of conception, development of the baby inside the womb, and the birth of the baby. According to researchers, this disc is at least 6,000 years old and does not belong to any of the Colombian cultures in South America. No one can explain the technology behind this object, and mainstream history cannot provide any information about the existence of this unknown artifact. Number 5. The Great Attractor Although many might be well aware of the large superassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy, responsible for the movement of our entire spiral-shaped galaxy, many are completely unaware of what is known as the Great Attractor. The Great Attractor refers to an unknown space anomaly discovered at the center of the local Laniakea supercluster. Unfortunately, scientists can't explain or obtain better information regarding the Great Attractor because it appears to be in the zone of avoidance. This means that the majority of space in that area is completely obscured by energy created by the Milky Way galaxy. Gravitational measurements, however, show that the Great Attractor is not only pulling our galaxy toward it, but also all the nearby galactic superclusters in our area. Although many scientific reports believe that the majority of surrounding space was moving away at increasing speeds. Many believe that this might be tied to the gravitational force of the Great Attractor pulling the majority of the galaxies around us into its gravitational well. Estimates suggest that the Great Attractor is a superassive black hole thousands of light years larger than the one at the center of our galaxy. Information surrounding this theory is incredibly limited by the zone of avoidance. And it looks like scientists won't be able to provide scientific insight into the cause until the human race learns the ability to travel outside of the Milky Way galaxy to gather information. This ultimately means that despite this natural phenomenon being the most significant event in our galactic supercluster, humans may never learn the true nature of its cause for the foreseeable future. Number 4. Tabby Star Located in the constellation Cygnus, about 1,470 light-years away, Tabby's star is a mystery that continues to baffle scientists. Although physicists have known of the star for many decades, in recent years, it has shown strange behavior. In May 2017, scientists began observing strange light fluctuations at Tabby's star, and these fluctuations continued throughout 2018. These massive light fluctuations were pointed out by a researcher named Tabitha S. Boyajian, and the star was named after her. The question is, what is going on at Tabby Star? Is it home to some alien civilization with technology beyond our comprehension? Or is it just another star with random natural processes? Whatever it is, researchers cannot explain it at the moment. Some believe that these unusual situations could be a result of huge alien megastructures or travel vehicles blocking the star's light as they come between our view and the star. Another explanation is that an advanced civilization residing elsewhere has been building giant solar panels around this star to fulfill their energy requirements. If that is the case, then it raises concerns, as once that civilization runs out of energy from nearby stars, it may travel farther to fulfill its energy needs, and it's only a matter of time until it reaches our solar system. Number 3. The Disappearing Island of Frisland There's nothing stranger than stories involving an unexplainable disappearance. However, the strangest story of a disappearance involves an entire island seemingly vanishing off the coast of Iceland, referred to as the Island of Frisland. When explorers were sailing around Iceland in 1580, cartographers took accurate maps of the entire landmass and supposedly discovered a small, uninhabited island that mirrored the approximate size of Iceland. The island would appear on maps from the 1560s and even up to the 1700s, 
with various sightings confirming its existence. Other updated maps still showed the exact same landmass over the centuries. However, it was not until French and English explorers began reporting that there was no such landmass in the region that researchers began to realize that the entire island of Frisland no longer existed, and no trace of the massive landmass could be found. Many researchers claim that perhaps there never was such an island to begin with, or that past explorers had accidentally ventured as far as North America and had mistaken Frisland for Fur Island an island that existed between Shetland and the Orkney Islands. Despite these theories, many claim that the size of Frisland, along with numerous independent cartographers and explorers confirming its existence, proved that the island had truly existed at one time and, for reasons not entirely understood, had completely vanished from existence. Number 2. A New Queen of the Fifth Dynasty one of the most puzzling questions for Egyptologists has been trying to establish an accurate timeline of the reign of the pharaohs and dynasties of ancient Egypt to better understand the developments and policy changes at specific times in history. One missing piece of this puzzle concerns the ruler of Egypt following the demise of Pharaoh Pharaonifer, the fourth pharaoh of the fifth dynasty. Pharaonifer took leadership shortly after the passing of his father and spent his first few years finishing his father's pyramid laying the foundations for his own, and working on a project known as Hotep Are, a sun temple for offerings to the god Are. Unfortunately, Pharaoh Pharaonifer passed away under mysterious circumstances after only a few years of ruling, dying in his early 20s. This meant that, for a significant period, there was no male successor to Egypt, leaving Egyptologists uncertain about who remained in power during this time. Recently, new evidence has surfaced that leads many researchers to believe that a secret queen of Egypt ruled during this time in place of a male successor. Back in 2015, Egyptologists unearthed an unfinished pyramid near the tomb of Pharaonifer, leading researchers to believe that the tomb belonged to his queen. The walls of the tomb are inscribed with hieroglyphics claiming that the woman who inhabits the tomb was both the wife and mother of the pharaoh. Given the fact that ancient Egyptians were known to cover up female rulers, as seen with Hatshepsut, this has led many to connect the puzzle and suggest that this new tomb might belong to a missing queen and the fifth ruler of the fifth dynasty. Number 1. The Immortal Jellyfish Another creature that fascinates scientists is the Immortal Jellyfish, which was discovered in 1883. This mysterious creature can revert to an earlier life stage after reaching maturity. When injured or close to death, the jellyfish attaches itself to a surface in warm waters and slowly turns into a blob-like formation. Its muscle cells may turn into egg cells, nerve cells may also turn into muscle cells, and once this process is complete, the jellyfish resumes its normal life cycle. This unique ability to rejuvenate itself occurs when the jellyfish is under stress, allowing it to potentially live indefinitely. Researchers have shown interest in this phenomenon for pharmaceutical research, as it could have implications for human health and aging. Harnessing this ability could lead to breakthroughs in extending human life and rejuvenating damaged tissues. However, this discovery has raised questions about the ethical and environmental implications of manipulating the life cycle of organisms. Nonetheless, the immortal jellyfish remains a fascinating subject of study for scientists, offering insights into potential ways to combat aging and degenerative diseases in the future. This intriguing creature continues to leave scientists and researchers pondering the possibilities and ethical considerations surrounding its remarkable abilities. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the natural world, the immortal jellyfish stands as a testament to the boundless potential for discovery and innovation that the world of biology holds.